Good evening. The Premier has laid down the law as he warns this ship, the Magnifica, is steaming towards Fremantle with hundreds of potential coronavirus cases on board. That's just one headline in a day of disturbing, almost unbelievable developments. 40,000 hospitality workers have lost their jobs as the shutters went down on pubs, clubs, restaurants and cafes across WA. And already we're seeing desperate scenes play out at Centrelink. MyGov crashed and thousands queued across Perth and right across the nation. As for schools, the state government has relaxed laws so children don't have to go to school, but they will stay open for now. Gary said begins our coverage. A ticking coronavirus time bomb steaming towards Fremantle. The cruise ship Magnifica has over 1,000 passengers on board. The Premier says 250 of those have upper respiratory illnesses right now. This morning I've contacted the Prime Minister and have spoken to the Home Affairs Minister Peter Dutton to explain that my priority is to protect West Australians. But the company that owns the Magnifica has put out a statement completely contradicting the government, saying it just wants to refuel and move on. All passengers and crew on board are well. No passengers or crew on board suffer from any respiratory diseases. There is no evidence to suggest that anyone on board may be infected with COVID-19. We will not allow passengers or crew to wander the streets. This is a non-negotiable position. Amid the confusion, our police commissioner had even spoken to the chief of Australia's Defence Force about possible military assistance. This is beyond the scale uh, that Western Australia agencies can deal with just by ourselves. The Commonwealth will assist. Rottnest Island is already a designated quarantine zone and today people were being asked to leave the holiday spot to make way for any West Australians that need medically assisted isolation. Went down to get the key for the new unit and they said, no, sorry, you're off the island. Just like that? Just like that. We knew that it would happen eventually, but we didn't expect that we are going to lose a whole week. Overnight, WA has confirmed 20 more cases of the virus, all in the metropolitan area. Six of those were West Australians who disembarked from the Ruby Princess in Sydney last week. One came off the ovation of the seas. Our total now, 140. Of those cases, 12 people are in hospital. Three in Sir Charles Gardner, three in Royal Perth, four in Fiona Stanley, two at the Midland Health Campus. Two of the cases are critical. Perth doctor Stephen Fenner has the virus and is in self-isolation at home. You know, I've had much worse viral illnesses over the years. Um, I don't get many, but, but yeah, that was certainly not a particularly bad one. He's 60, has asthma, but is still relaxed about his situation. So by stopping it with isolation, um, within a week or two, you've prevented 100 or 150 cases, and amongst those, statistically, one of them would have died. And while those in isolation make the sacrifice for the vulnerable, don't think it's going to get any easier for any of us anytime soon. Stage two of restrictions, if we go down that path, will be more extreme and impact our lives even more. <sighs> Gary Ad said, Nine News. And Tegan Sapple is at Fremantle Port tonight. Tegan, you've got breaking news on the Magnifica. Yes, Tomo. Well, whether there are any unwell passengers on that ship is up in the air tonight. The state government released a statement a very short time ago saying it had received inconsistent advice from the vessel regarding the health of its passengers and also its intention to disembark. Nonetheless, the Premier says he's not taking any chances and Border Force and WA Police will be down here at Fremantle Port tomorrow when the vessel pulls in to refuel before it heads on to Dubai. Tegan, thank you.